Shalom guys, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading for the 1st of November. Happy birthday if it's your birthday and happy anniversary if it's your anniversary. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. And those of you who are brand spanking new, just a little bit about myself. I'm just spiritual, okay? I could come across real heavy at times, churchy or religious, but I'm not at all. I just can't stand wicked energies, and it will be addressed here on my channel. And uh, Elohim just allows me to fill it, and so it's, it gets addressed, okay? So I am uh, calling out to Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, and uh, he is precious to me. He's our salvation, our Yeshua. In Hebrew, I do use the living language and the scripture on my channel. So if that's not something that you're looking for, that's where you're going to click off. Otherwise, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started here. Jehovah, I just thank you for your presence. And I thank you for this new day and this new month. And uh, I just uh, thank you that you go before us. You um, prepare the way for us today. Jehovah, rebuke every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy and for forces and shove them right down to the pit of hell right here, right now. And we just thank you for it. Um, thank you for your wisdom. Well, we got eight swords here. <laughs> we had the four swords at the bottom of the deck. The ace of swords jumped out as I was connecting. The three of swords jumped out after that. And then... So that's four swords, and then the four swords is at the bottom of the deck as well. And all together, that's eight swords showing up here. Uh, and that's eight, the eight of swords, somebody in their mind, or it's the incarceration cards, all kinds of swords here. <laughs> um, but there's truth here about something that's been heartbreaking. And even if there is incarceration overall energy for anybody, there's resting or two sides are resting after a broken heart as well. Um, there's new ideas here. Um, there's inspiration here with this Ace of Swords. It's clarity uh, with the Ace of Swords and seeing the truth and being illuminated with the truth here with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords come in and it'll just, uh, it's, it, the truth will cut something away and very precisely. Uh, somebody could be obviously going under the knife, or some people are dealing with medical issues. That that could be um, the case for some people, and it's heartbreaking to have to go through that. But at the same time, there's resting showing up here. It's time to rest and take some type of a situation within the mind and just pull some things down and heal. Uh, allow some more time before making another decision because we've got a, a broken heart here for some somebody. Um, there's been great sadness, it says, around the situation. Again, take time to heal. It's showing up here in both these cards. Uh, somebody need to heal the mind space of something that's taking place within something that's heartbreaking itself showing up. Um, that's all mental stuff, people. It's all mental stuff coming out here. Let's go ahead and take a um, living language word from the from the if I, my brain could kick in talk about mental stuff if you are new i just wake up with my audience i've actually had a couple of cups of coffee already but apparently my brain ain't kicking in yet uh, let's see what the hebraic word that Jehovah wants to bring out about this is and tell us what would you like to talk about this with us about Jehovah? what's the word i just inquire at your hand and your hand alone the message here so we have the samak which is the devil card it's predator stuff well so even though there's something heartbreaking here if a predator is going to go to jail because i did see that last night uh, in those readings we were seeing the eight of swords and the now there was incarceration for somebody with this situation that was going on uh this has been piercing um this is a shield. Somebody's been trying to protect somebody from a predator in nighttime seasons of their life, or maybe in the night, something's taking place where somebody had to uh, be protected within some type of situation. It's pride and conceit with the devil energy. At the same time, this card represents divine grace. And so somebody has made it through some type of heartbreaking situation. They've made it, they've made some type of divine grace 
uh, with the connection with the divine to get somebody through something heartbreaking here. What else would you like to bring out? Uh, the pictograph is the antenna. That's, you know, be anything. We got air energy. That goes back to anything that, you know, obvious meant, obviously it's mental, but the antenna, television, internet stuff, something that may have been said, heard, uh, that broke a heart, but it was truthful. The truth was the first thing out. And it was precise and it cut something away. And so regardless if it was heartbreaking, the truth is here. And we've got healing if this is two, two people. Uh, four swords here, healing. Four swords here, healing. If I want to look at it that way. We have the tet also coming out here. And that's a judgment. That's a judgment. That's something that's gotten really filthy within a situation okay we know that that's the hermit uh, card as well so we really analyze some stuff went within to figure out a thing let me pull this down a little bit better for y'all uh went within and uh decided to put a judgment on something here because something got filthy well we got the devil here people the devil don't play nice and the devil's a man who can't pass the test and so it takes a healing energy. Now the hermit energy would go to a physician as well. And obviously somebody, like I said, is going through the knife, going under the knife today. And you're dealing just with hard energy with the devil uh, fighting a thing. Then that's what that's showing here uh, with this um, letter coming out for us to look at with all these freaking swords, man. The word that's out here means a rebel. And, um, well, obviously, people don't get their heart broken unless something, because uh, there, there wouldn't have been no harmony somewhere. Somebody rebelled somewhere within a situation, I guess, for, for something to take place. Um, the word means to turn. So somebody's just turned aside at something and rebelled and did something that was heartbreaking um, with this situation or they declined something and it caused it caused a lot of swords to come out people if this is incarceration for some people obviously if there's a predator here then for some people this is incarceration stuff it's caused them they have to go under the knife because some kind of re rebellious energy then that's what's showing up here but it's also showing that even if somebody got go t and be incarcerated it's it's bringing arrest on both sides uh, for the person to go get some help, whatever the thing is, the word the other direction, there's no definition for the word the other direction, but it's the word this. It's something that's very prominent about this energy and all these freaking swords that are showing up here. So let's go ahead and just start the reading and see what's going on. Let me move this to the side here so that we can put the other cards. So uh, there's a rebel... And, you know, that's teenage stuff as well. I'm hearing teenagers have broken a heart for somebody. Yeah, but what do you want to bring out about this, please? I thank you for clear to find messages. What are all these swords here about today with this rebel energy? Show me a... Show me the message, please, Jehovah. I inquire at your hand and your hand alone. Thank you. All right. So, well, we've seen this. This card was at the bottom of the deck last night in a reading that I did. Um, that was actually corresponding with another reading I did prior to that reading on another channel. There was something going on. Somebody had been plotting something. And those the three of those cards that came out in one, in one of those readings came out on the other channel as well. But this is at the bottom of the deck. This is a six of pentacles, but it has the uh, scales within it. And this is a payout. Um, it's legal stuff as well uh, showing up here. Let's just take the cards for what they are. Uh, we have the, so the two of uh, pentacles was at the top of the mind within that reading. Somebody was going back and forth in a decision up and down, trying to figure out what to do within something. It, the, the outcome of that reading was the Queen of Swords um, with the Two of Cups, which is a unity. Unity on some type of, either it's a medical situation for some of you all, or a divorce, uh, or there was some type of a judgment there for something legal or contractual, which is showing up here. The Magician, so we do have a physician here today within something, somebody who's very skilled at what they do. 
This is communication, okay? If there's generosity here to, on both sides or resting, even though one side's been heartbroken about something, the truth is resting uh, both sides. If I want to look at it that way, because there's, there's just been something rebellious within a situation and something needs to be healed. Um, so whatever the decision is to communicate or to fix something or to manifest, you have everything that you need. This is the Aleph head, right? This is somebody who gets up and leads clans of people. Um, so the magician card. And then we got a fresh new beginning. And uh, we got a dragon thrown into the fire. <laughs> and that's positive for me. Um, so that's inspiration. That's awesome. That also goes to fortune as well here. The devil card can go to fortune and bank systems. Um, but there's there's also a conception here. There's a conception here. Somebody's making a decision to communicate or about some type of a new, in, in fresh beginning or something's inspirational here. Um, obviously, if there's a rebel, there's been energies here of a manipulator. Somebody has manipulated something for a broken heart. Um, the King of Cups was also in that reading, and he's at the bottom of the deck. Let's just clarify. Show me this. Um, show me a card, please, Jehovah, on each one of these cards and what all this stuff is about this morning, about this rebel word that you brought out within a situation here. Show me cards, please. Show me the Six of Pentacles. Thank you. Um the knight of pentacles this is the knight that you want this is somebody who goes slow they're going to check the details they are very methodical in what they do they they still have time to um grow into a you know queen or a king or to the emperor the empress energy it's, a, it's somebody very this is the knight that we want if, if this work stuff and this is work this could be an employee for some people i'm not sure um, but this is some type of a generosity or payout within something here with the um, Six of Pentacles. Something legal has been around that or contractual has been with that. That's a reliable card. And obviously if somebody cheated and they were building against something contractual, it, it, it brought a heartbreak. Um, but again, we got, if I'm looking at that as two different people, for some of you all, both parties are healing, even regardless of some type of heartbreak and rebellious situation. The truth has come in to even out the scales here with this uh, work situation or medical situation or marriage or whatever it is or breakup or whatever it is. Uh, show me the two of pentacles, please, Jehovah. That somebody had been secretly exchanging some things and, and somebody had clarity about that then that's what it's showing here uh, the home is showing up here the four of uh, wands this is a you know the hierophant well that's also hospitals it's also marriages and conforming or not conforming to something somebody got some type of a revelation here about some type of uh, back and forth exchanging or decision within the home uh or again with what we were talking about show me the magician card show me the magician card please Jehovah. as some of you all have made a decision to uh just go forward and start fresh and new, uh, I guess, with or without any given person. I hope it's showing today a, a, a inspiration, though, regardless if you're healing or had been in your mind. There's, there's, there's truth here, and the truth has set you free. Even if you are in your mind a little bit, even if somebody is going to jail, um, they'll still, this, the situation will be set free within something that was manipulated by a rebellious energy so stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft and so somebody was in the industry because the devil goes back to that kind of stuff and they were in witchcraft that's what's showing there there's a dragon here people and it's in the freaking fire and it's going to go into the fire forever forever the devil gets to go into the freaking fire whatever this crap's got to stop with hurting people we walk in truth and truth alone guys so the tower. Um, 
So the Magician card is what I wanted to uh, look at next. And we've got the Lovers and the Tower and the Four Cups. And then uh, the uh, Queen of Wands is here. Um, the Tower is a disaster for some people. It's very sexual. And we've got the Ace of Wands here. And that's also a conception or sexual energy as well. It's passion, right? It's, it's uh, fortune stuff as well. But the tower came down. Somebody had a paradigm shift. This is a rebel energy. It goes straight to that house. And um, somebody could have been a very big indulger with that uh, with that uh, Samok there. We got AA showing up here as well. We also have uh, the lover's card. Uh, this is a decision, right? The decision was right here the decision because of sexual situations or something to do uh, with a disastrous um, circumstance within the rebellious crap that's taking place. We also have somebody who is stuck in a rut for some of you all. Uh, this is a contemplation card. This is the Four of Cups. Somebody's looking up at the cup instead of down uh, with these three other cups down here. As some of y'all were dealing with third party situations and somebody also got pregnant within that. We have the other woman here in the negative. If this was re rebellious energy in the negative, then somebody was cheating on somebody or did something outside with another person. This could be anybody, but this is passionate energy. Uh, in the upright, if you're if you're dealing with the passionate things, you get up just as just as stern as the negative side of it, but you win it within the, your spirituality and truth because the Queen of Wands represents somebody who will take that wand and smite that thing and say, I "Don't think so." Just just as passionate as uh, the negative, right? And we are seeing something here. It's even, but somebody's got their heart broke within it. But at the same time, we're seeing somebody healing here within a situation. Um, let's see the, yeah, somebody was greedy. Stubbornness as a sin of witchcraft, which is rebellious, which goes back to rebellion. Somebody knows, somebody knew about the contemplation, knew, knew that somebody needed an alignment somewhere. Um, somebody is front stage with something here with the decision to get up and to lead, lead a clan or something within a situation to heal it show me the um man my my brain needs a kick in guys <laughs> show me the uh, ace of wands please thank you uh death people there's death here so something is over something's transformed something's been hidden uh the secret sexual stuff here showing up this also affects a, a sea of people, right? That would be the MIM. We have the M. We have the um, V and the W. A VW, that's a tavern type energy. Like I said, we have the AA here. Two A connections here. An S, a T is also here. Um, it's some kind of a leader. And there is unity here about ending something and beginning something fresh and new as well. And there's inspiration about it regardless if somebody's been hurt within it. Uh, this is a transformative stuff. This is also legal stuff with the FBI showing up here. And obviously there's unity and that's positive because we see it up here. So whoever the rebellious party was there's death here with it or there's something to do with the uh, something very transformative I want to look at this in another deck here show me this ace of wands please Jehovah show me this ace of wands with this death card Show me this Ace of Wands with this death card. The house is here. Um, so obviously people people are breaking up or they're healing it. I guess go either way. There have been third parties though here. Um, that's your residence. That's your family. That's security. That's stability. 
<laughs> that also goes to projects as well. It is a number four as well. There's a K here. Uh, the K and the M is in this section. The Kim and the Mike and the Mick and the Mac. <laughs> and somebody mocks somebody with a, with a rebellious energy, overall energy, uh, even within your home or connected to a residential situation where family has been concerned. Um, there's domestic affairs going on here in this reading. There's also money here. Again, this fortune and hidden fortune with the death card then. But somebody is lucking out here within this situation that's ending and have, having a fresh beginning. You know, fire purifies. Okay, we're seeing the dragon thrown into the fire here where the home situation has uh, been affected by something very heartbreaking. Give me another card, please, for this death and uh, this Ace of Wands. The moon is here. There's a deception. There's something emotional with the moon, with children. There's unity, though, around, around something, though. And that's also upright, righteous, and humble. For Well, there's the moon, and it wants to come out here. There's something secretive around the home. Um, again, there's the ship, and look. Oh, well, there's children. What did I just see? I thought I was just seeing the grave. Uh, the ship is traveling. If I want to take the clover, that also goes back to the ninth house would be traveling. There's some type of uh, secret energy here, people. There still is. The Four of Swords is still a, a contemplation card. In the now, there's knowledge of contemplation and a decision here as well. So if this is the moon is appearing here twice, there's, there's, there's still manipulation somewhere because we got a rebel energy here as well. And the overall energy is a rebel energy. Eight swords. If somebody probably going to go to jail though, and it, because they know about what's taking place within the home and the residence, I could read it that way, but there are still secrets with the death card. That's secrets, but something's over. If something's secretly over. Huh. The bouquet is here as well. My family loves you and the boss knows something. We also have I forgive you. We have they have a secret and there's been a sire. There's been somebody who is just like really like whoa. This is a howling out of searching or screaming out of pain. This is a rightful ownership of what is desired as well. And somebody's uh, got situations going on in their home and they have been, they, 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 they want something that's rightfully theirs because there has been a secret around a home situation. Well, obviously there's, there's some type of, uh, unity within the situation going on here for for that but there's a secret even if there's a, I forgive you there's a secret showing up here and it's death it's an ending there's a toolbox and somewhere in the woods is here and there's a reservoir and somebody's watching and seeing and having knowledge and having understanding about something. But there's been something that's been held back. But where is it going? Yes, because there's something hostile here, people. And then there is the uh, clover again. There's money here. There's rewards of some kind. Or uh, this could be a risk. Somebody want to take a risk at something. There's children here at the bottom of that. Uh, but we have the hostile card. This is a rebellious energy showing up here for something. Somebody's going to put somebody down in death because they are rebellious. And I guess that's what's showing. Or they're going to get put down go to jail. I can read it that way. Uh, but there is some kind of traveling energy showing up in this reading. Okay? And uh, so there's a secret. There's a secret. 
Somebody says, I'm awake now and I know and you're a divine gift from Jehovah. If this is past stuff and it's finally over, there's a sickness here. Well, of course there's a sickness here. Somebody got sickness if you're rebellious. Okay? Um, I got to keep going because I don't feel a release and I'm having an uneasy feeling about what's out here. You have, what do you say about it? We know that the, the wicked are going to get cut off. The rebellious don't get to win. Even if they got a secret, it will come to the surface every single time. We're seeing the dragon in the fire. The mothers here. There's shadows here with the uh, moon. There's emotions with the moon. Somebody has a premonition here with the moon energy. There's hunting and chasing with that thing. But it does see, show a death. What do you say, Jehovah? Obviously, there's eight swords. Somebody's mental. There, there's a sickness somewhere. Um, the eighth house is coming out here. A, 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 I create... Uh, there's re there's sexual organs. We just did that reading last night where where that energy was coming out the loins area. Something needed to be fixed or something like that. The sexual organ. This is a male phallic as well. Uh, upright law enforcement. Thank you for your service. If somebody's finally going to do something about something that's taking place with somebody, uh, where that that word went back to meaning the, the phonics was a car. Uh, it was uh, that went to the high priest wrapping something around the loin area. It also went to the reproductive system. And so the FBI is here then to throw the dragon in the fire. And if there's unity for somebody to finally freaking be put down, then thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Uh, and it's a victory. And the throat, the neck, and the vocal cords are also here, which would be the opposite side of the Scorpio energy. And we are told to, and there's cooperation that needs to happen today. We're told to wrap um, truth and mercy around our neck. And so somebody who is getting up and leading clans and speaking in a very rebellious way somewhere, then obviously some, something's here with the law. And that's, that's beautiful then. That's beautiful. Somebody knows they're watching something here. Whatever the toolbox is. Um, and somewhere in the woods. Or you're dealing with somebody who lives out in the woods, I guess. Maybe they work on tool. They have tools or something's connected to that. But somebody had a secret. And uh, obviously somebody's been howling and screaming out of pain because of something that is rightfully theirs. And uh, somebody's done something then within that broke a heart because of stupid rebellious energies. Well... That's positive them. Then this is upright law enforcement. Thank you for your service because we do know that Jehovah's word's not going to return void. And he said he was going to make his officers uh, upright and righteous. And so we thank you for your service. And we thank you for your secrecy then to have to catch the freaking dragon and throw it into the freaking fire. Uh, because we are seeing restful energy. However, it has to come. There's truth out here about something that's positive. Until next time, shalom.